Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we gotta pull this light out of here, light assembly, because I don't know if you can see that. It's got water in it. See all them droplets? If I don't get that water out of there, it'll start blowing fuses, blowing bulbs out. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that real quick. And then we're going to move on to something else because this won't take too long. Okay, guys, so to take these out, it's real simple. There's two plugs. There's one up here and there's one right down here. Now what I use to take them out, you can use a little screwdriver, but I got my little knife here. There's a little notch right there and right there. Just pop them out, just like that. Now this one is different from the other side. The other side has Phillips, and this, this side has a hex head. Now I do know this has had minor damage in a crash so I'm thinking that might be what it was the other side has been replaced uh, I'm not sure what size it is it's 5 16 and I think it's too big so let's try try a quarter inch I had to put a bulb in this before Okay, let me find the right size. Whoo, hot one. Let me find the right size, and then I'll come back with you. Okay, that didn't take long. This is the next one I checked, 930 seconds. Yours may differ, but this is a 2010 Chevy Traverse. So, but either way, you're gonna have something similar. Two screws. that now I gotta back you out a little bit here now this comes out this just slides out this way straight back just like that it's got I'll show you here in just a second I don't want to dump that upside down. Right there, there's a little rubber dot and this thing right here. Right there, I'll show you. And then this just clips on. This right here just clips on. Just a little metal clip, pull that off. This will turn, eighth of a turn maybe, and that pulls out, and that one same way. Okay, so this little nipple here goes in that little rubber grommet there. So, as you can see here, we have got water coming out of here. And when I was working at the shop in Fruitland Park, uh, the owner, my boss, uh, he was my only boss, but the owner, his headlight was half filled up with water. It was still working, but he was like, it was real dim. It was half to three quarters filled up with water. And I said, well, the seals around here is what happens. These seals, they leak inside these seals. And uh, my guess is this one's coming right in through here I would say right there because these are two pieces same way with his headlight he had a Ford big old jacked up Ford he said just drain it out it'll be fine so I drew a hole in the bottom of it a little tiny 930 no uh, I forget what it was 730 seconds or something a little tiny hole I drilled in and it drained it 
all out. See, that's still not all out of there yet. And it drained it all out for him. And he said, he said, don't fill that hole up because it'll give the water something to drain out of, which is true. But it was low enough where the air wouldn't get to it to blow the bulb, so. All right. So I'm just going to keep doing that, get all, all the water out of here I can. Then we'll set it up here on the hood or somewhere, and I'm going to let it dry out. And then we're going to move on to project two. It's another easy fix, or, well, should be. This is our next project. You guys might remember we had to put a cable on here. And you see that? Primer bulbs ripped. So I'm going to show you how to take this out. It's real easy, real simple. All I'm going to do is take a screwdriver, put it in here, pry it a little bit, and put it in here and pry it in a little You can use two screwdrivers if you want. They make tools for this, but not everybody's going to have them tools. If you don't work on these every day, you're not going to have them. So I'm just going to show you how to do this with a screwdriver. And we're going to go ahead and pull this off so we can see inside there when we're done. So let me grab a screwdriver and I gotta grab something else to put this back in with real easy. And I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, so this is what I'm gonna do. I just got a little standard screwdriver here. I'm gonna put that in there and you push, there's a little tab. Here, I'll show you on this new one I've got here. got a little tab right there okay you push it in and kind of pry up a little bit or as my UK friend says prize they prize it up and I'm not making fun of them it's just I like to compare different cultures and the way we speak and stuff uh, this looks like it's going to be that's a little bent someone tightened it way down gonna need to clean that but I'll save you from that so we're just gonna stick this in here and push okay the camera over <laughs> all right just gonna go in right here push that out same way with this other side like I said you can use two screwdrivers if you want I'm just going to push this in and pull it up just like that this one went back in that's okay there we go just like that that's all there is to it I've seen guys once they get it this far grab this with a pair of pliers but if you got to put this back in for any reason you don't want to do that because you can rip it I don't know if you can see inside there but definitely ripped okay now I see some dirt up in here so I'm gonna get some spray and spray that out real quick now hopefully there's diaphragm and a gasket underneath here between the carburetor or between the carburetor and the tank hopefully that's gonna be alright uh, it's kinda of like something like a fuel pump it's got little valves in there um, also we're going to put fresh gas in it because, well, it's just got a little bit anyway. I'm sure there's some water in it because there's some dirt in there. But I'm going to spray that out real good, and then I'll be back with you. Okay, now, to put this back on, what I use is a 17-millimeter socket. I've seen a lot of guys on YouTube do the same thing, so I'm not the only one. This is not my idea. But this is just what I've always done. Put that in there like that. Get your tabs lined up here. And just push it in and you'll feel them and hear them click there we go there's that make sure just confirm uh, a lot of guys they'll use their screwdriver and push them in like this just be careful that you don't slide off there it is that you don't slide off and puncture your your new uh your new primer bulb sometimes you can oops sorry sometimes you can just get the bulbs but in this case, the guy that I'm doing this for, my friend Ryan, uh, he got one that has the new 
clip but I am going to save this save the the retainer and here over here what we got going on is I'm letting this soak up some fuel into there like I said there wasn't much in it and then I'm just gonna wipe it around with this and a screwdriver inside there and I'll let it uh, dry out for a minute there you go and then we'll put fresh fuel in it um, see as you can see it's starting to siphon up out just turn it like a wick and sometimes it'll just siphon right out of there but make sure you don't leave any of this behind inside there because that'll clog up your there's actually little filters in there yeah see it's so I'm gonna get that drained out very nice uh, I mean it's it's dirty but I do see some water in there so let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and do that off screen um, I'm just gonna drain that out we'll put fresh fuel in it and I'll show you how you know this thing is working the primer bulb was working all right now we got it looking down on the top of the carburetor and we're gonna start pushing this button here here's the primer I can feel it and hear it coming up through the primer bulb there it goes see it shoots it right into the intake all right now the main question will it start and stay running let's get it down off the table and let's find out forgot to tell you I cleaned this out looks pretty good almost like new but it's clean enough all right guys so i've already primed it so you guys seen that i don't want to prime it too much because i don't want to flood it let's see if it'll start comment below right now how many pools the briggs of stratton i'm going to say one because we've already primed it Right on guys let's check it out let me move you back I got some high grass right in here let's mow a little bit of this and see what happens Time to call my friend Ryan. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this back together. There's a couple little specks in there, but those will dry out on their own. I cleaned it up a little bit, but what I'm going to do is this thing's going to be getting, you can see all the dirt and stuff that still gets up in here. Um, because the seal's here, not here. There's a little, but that's just part of it. So it's still going to get in there. Um, it finds its way in. I'm going to be putting, um, shows you an arrow here, and that D for driver's side, which is technically the left side. So if you ever go to a parts store and they want to know left or right, think of it as you're, if you're sitting in the driver's seat. The left side will be the driver's side, the right side will be the passenger side. I'm going to be putting LEDs in this thing, so. Uh, that's why I didn't spend a lot of time cleaning this out and when I do that this is all going to get detailed all right which way does it turn just like that
Monkey got me a new backpack, so stay tuned for that video. That. Now, this is going to clip on. Let's see where to clip on at. Can't remember where I may have to. There it goes. Clips on up here. Had that backwards. Why didn't you guys say something? This is gonna clip in there like that. Now, make sure you get that down in there. You're not pinching any wires. Line up your uh, little dowel over there. Make sure nothing's hanging out. Push it back in, you'll hear it clip in, and there it is. Now, we're just gonna put our screws back in. Right there. And that'll be two projects started, two completed. Like sometimes the monkey, she'll start there for projects. Sometimes, not all the time. And like if something happens and she don't, she don't get them completed, I give her some words of wisdom and some encouragement. And uh, like if I think, you know, I might have something to do later, I may only start one project. But I would rather start what I tell her, and it's helped her too. Um, same with what I taught my kids. If you start one project and complete one project, you completed the whole, you know what I mean? You got 100% completed. Now, if you start four projects, you get one completed. You only done, you've only got 25% completed. So, uh, my dad told me that one time when I was, I don't know, I was probably 18. I said, it seems like I can't get anything done, Dad. He said, quit starting so many projects. And he explained it to me that way. If you start four and you get one done, you only got 25% done. If you start one project and you get that one project done, that's 100%. And that's really worked for me. So, all right. Well, let me go get the keys. Let's check make sure that bulb's still working. All right, guys. First thing we're going to do do the headlights side marker lights on that one's on now let's do the turn signal and there it is I don't have to check the brake light because it's on the same circuit as the turn signal so but I will I'll press it for you guys so you can see off and there's the brakes so two projects two projects completed a hundred percent of my goal I guess you can say don't set your goals too high right but uh, so anyway the hell is that inside my lens? Can you guys see that thing crawling around in there? Uh, I think it's a spider. Hang on, guys. I got to pull this lens off of here. It's a little spider. Yep, he's gone. Okay, now I can put this back on. I thought yesterday I seen something crawl across my lens when we was in the truck on my video from yesterday. We uh, on the intro part when we was going over that bridge. I thought I, I thought it was my my finger at first. And I got to look and I thought, well, that's some kind of bug in there. All right. Okay. Well, that's good enough to do our outro. So anyway, yesterday, one day, monkey. I didn't have my window up. She rolled all the other windows up. Mine wasn't up yet. So. I said, "Hun, I gotta put my window up." So she turned the key on. 
I rolled my window up, shut the door, and we went in the house. Several hours later, I come out. She had left a key in with the ignition on, not running, just with the ignition on. Drain the battery. I was like, man, you can't, you can't do that. You can burn stuff up that way because some things need to have, have it running to cool, cool itself down, like coil packs and stuff like that, right? So yesterday when we got home, same thing. I said I gotta roll this window up, and I said. Don't leave the key in with the ignition on this time. I won't. Okay, so she turned the ignition on. I rolled the window up, shut the door, and walked around. She shut, in the, she shut her door, and she had kind of had her hands full. I said, what are you looking for? She said, the keys, I just had them. I said, they're probably in the ignition turned on. No, they're not. I said, check. She opened up the door, reached in, and you could tell by her eyes, she's like, oh. But it's not turned on. I said, why ain't the key coming out? She turned it back and took it out and goes, oh, I said, it wasn't 10 seconds. <laughs> so don't do that, guys. <laughs> don't do that no more, Monk. <laughs> so I got to get this cleaned up. My uh, screen over here is, you know, s sweat, dirty fingers and whatnot, because this is, uh, you know, it's uh, touch, touch screen. So, and I got to get this lens cleaned up here, so. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Stay tuned. I don't know. Maybe tonight. We'll see. I might do... i probably do my pack tonight. We want to do a special overnight fishing trip this weekend, but we're not sure. It's supposed to be really hot, but we'll find out if we get to do that. Uh, if not, that'll happen at a later time. And tomorrow, I got another fan video. It's a ceiling fan, so it should be pretty cool. Um... All right, guys, Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend, gone for now. Remember, we started two projects, got two projects done, 100% complete. Or you can look at it as 200% complete if you want. So, uh, but I look at it this way, I set goals. Well, my one goal was to fix the lawnmower. I wasn't even going to film it because it's just so quick. And then I thought, well, I come out here with Monkey and I seen that water in there. She's like, oh, my God. So I'm like, okay, now I have two projects. I thought, okay, that'll be my goal for today is the two projects so i got them done now the uh backpack you know if i get to it i get to it if i don't i don't that's not that wasn't one of my goals so i'm not real worried about that so anyway guys hopefully your week's going great so far stay safe everyone enjoy yourselves and we'll see you in the next one bye bye guys take care of yourselves